This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today, this time taking a look at a, uh, a an app that's very squarely in the children's literature style genre. There is not exactly an ebook, it's not exactly literature, but it is definitely aimed at children of the small variety. This would be toddlers and tykes, and the app that we're looking at is called Goo Goo. Uh, so again, very small children at work here, and it comes with a nice soundtrack that I'm actually going to turn off right now because it makes it easier to hear us uh, with the sound off and we're kind of narcissistic like that. I mean, as mentioned, this app does take a slightly different bent than most of these children's applications that we take a look at on the iPhone and the iPad. Instead of offering, say, a traditional reading platform with different pages for your child to flick through, instead it offers up four different kind of mini-games, though mini-game isn't quite the right word for these. We'll show you these in just a second. Uh, but each of these can be played in sequence, or you can hit the play all button to go through them all in a single gigantic playthrough if you'd like. Again, the basic idea here is more... Uh, you know, there's some educational value to this, we'll talk more about that in just a second, but uh, the overall idea is more distracting your child or keeping them entertained uh, while you do something else. So uh, that's definitely what this app has going for it. And again, uh, before we go any further, this is available for $1.99 in the App Store, making it a pretty great value, especially considering most other children's publications that you get in traditional print. Uh, you know, range anywhere from, say, 10 to 20 bucks. So $1.99, definitely uh, a value in comparison. We're going to go ahead and show you one of these uh, different aspects right here. You have four different ones. You've got Jungle Stories, which is exactly what it sounds like. So is Farm Animals. Seasons actually walks your child through the different seasons. And then Peekaboo is exactly that in a digital format that is playing Peekaboo with a bunch of various uh, cutesy animals. Uh, so we're going to start with Seasons, I suppose. And they're all about the same in terms of uh, general mechanic. So we'll go through one and then uh, give you our final roundup on this uh, on this bad boy. So the idea here is that you're given a, a bunch of different interactive elements. You can click on these things and occasionally they will respond. Not everything responds to touch, which is a slight downside. We do wish there was slightly more uh, interactivity. Uh, but that being said, it's still uh, you know great as is. Like I said, you can tap the bunny there when the timing is right. And they'll dance around. Likewise, you can do this for the other things. And then the scene progresses. So right here, obviously, we're in spring. Then it'll go to the next season. And then the next after that. Again, the graphics are pretty fantastic as well. We definitely liked the art style. It's got this kind of uh, hand-drawn sort of, um, you know, computer-style animation to it that's very great. Uh, we enjoyed it, and that's actually a large aspect of these games. You know, if the, if the art style isn't great or if the characters aren't cute, the child's not going to be entertained. Uh, with this much, uh, you know, vibrance and color and so much, uh, you know, the difference between all the different scenes, it's really going to keep your child entertained. Again, this is directed at very small children, mostly toddlers. So uh, the idea behind this is lots of bright colors, lots of interactive sounds, and lots of interactive elements. All of that's here. We do have the sound off, so you can't hear that. But at the same time, it's very, uh, it's very engaging from when we were playing around with this earlier. And if you want to return to the uh, main menu at any point in time, you simply swipe. Uh, and there you go, and you have the home button, and then you can slide back. So each of these games is the same kind of idea. You have a Jungle Stories uh, that we particularly liked. Likewise, the Fire Animals are nice. We'll go ahead and show you this one. And of course, you can play through all of these at any point in time. Our only real complaint with this application is, uh, you know, in terms of straight educational value, it's kind of an undefined area. It's really gray in the sense that we're not really sure what your child will be getting out of this other than a, uh, an engaging experience. Because, uh, you know, in terms of like the seasons we were just looking at, there's no text or overdub narration to say this is winter, this is fall, this is a horse, this is a cow. Uh, and obviously, if your child is still in the toddler region, they won't be uh, reproducing any of this stuff. But in terms of sheer language acquisition, it's important to have that kind of stuff there from the very beginning. So even though your child may not understand what chicken means, their brain still needs that kind of input, which is the stuff that you give them on a daily basis by talking to them, introducing them to new ideas and answering questions. Uh, so we do wish this app came with a little bit more of that in terms of just, you know, this is a chicken or saying just chicken. Uh, you know, so in terms of sheer educational value, we aren't so sure that this is uh, perhaps the best app to be looking at if you want to teach your child about seasons or farm animals or, uh, you know, the jungle creatures, the jungle and whatnot. But in terms of sheer entertainment value, it's definitely still a value. You know, at a dollar and ninety-nine cents, you get four engaging scenes that will keep your child entertained for a very long time. So, if you're just looking to entertain your kid, then this is a whole different animal. With that in mind, we are going to give this app a four out of five stars because we are so engaged by the art style. We think it's perfect for small children, and uh, again, at a dollar and ninety-nine cents, it's very much a value. So, four—excuse uh, me—four stars out of five. 
for Goo Goo. And that's pretty much all we have to say about it. So at this point, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And if I can encourage you to go check out the other YouTube videos that are on our YouTube channel, we'd really much appreciate it. Likewise, you can go to the iPhone app review.com to view hips, heaps, excuse me, not hips. We don't have any hips on there. Heaps of our written reviews as well. And uh, that's pretty much all we have to say about it. Again, this is Goo Goo, which we've given a 4 out of 5 star rating, and it's available for $1.99 in the App Store. But we're going to go ahead and sign out, so we'll see you guys later. Bye.